the barn was a scarecrow. So, how did that picture make you feel? Remember, be honest. Uh, makes me happy. Right. Oh, that's good. In what way did it make you happy? That's peaceful. Ha! <laughs> that's actually an answer. Oh. Interesting. It's interesting. Would it make you happy to spend the whole week here, all by yourself? Uh, sure, why not? Huh. And what if I told you that this cottage was haunted? Uh, I wouldn't care. I'm gonna play the uh, manly man. Level-headed response. <laughs> but everyone is fighting on something. I wonder what it is that does frighten you. I really do. This guy's kind of creepy. Okay. Sorry. We're out of time. Oh, let's see. What let's that? investigate that in our next session, shall no we? No problem. It's fine. Connection problems happen. You can use Twitch chat, by the way. I have my tablet here with the chat open. So did that first little section that was a tutorial count against me? Today is the one-year anniversary of the dreadful tragedy that took place on Mount Washington. Annie Klein is in charge of the investigation. Thanks for having me, Marty. Listeners, there's an update on Hannah and Beth Washington, the twins who are still missing. One year ago tonight, the Washington girls left the safety of their parents' lodge and headed out into a snowstorm. Foul play. Not officially, no. There is one individual we're considering as a person of interest, but his whereabouts are currently unknown. He has an interesting history with the Washington family. He had warned them against pursuing their construction project and claimed the land was sacred to his forefathers. You know, there is still the old sanatorium on the mountain. Could he be hiding there? My officers did search the grounds, but the girls themselves couldn't have made it that far. Something about that mountain seems to breed tragic events. More than you know, Marty. Thank you for joining us, Andy. With all the Washingtons tonight, with their son Josh, on this, the anniversary of the mysterious disappearance of Hannah and Beth Washington. Well, hello, friends and fans. All right, let's do that again. All right. Well, hello, friends and fans. It's beyond awesome to have you guys so, all back this year. Did they use the um, actual actors so, as the basis say, of these models? I'm super excited to welcome all my pals back to the annual Blackwood Winter Getaway. <laughs> so, um, let me just let you know, uh, let's take a moment to address the elephant in the room for a second. I know you're all probably worried about me. And I know it's going to be tough on all of us going back after what happened last year. But I just want you all to know um, it means it means so much to me that we're doing this. And that 
I know it would mean so much to Hannah and Beth that we're, we're all still here together. And I'm thinking of them. I really want to spend some quality time with e each and every one of you and um, just share some moments that this guy I'll never kill forget. Her. For, he, he's, for he's the creepy. sake of my sisters. And, I think everybody's creepy, you know. apparently. Okay, so... Let's party like we're fucking porn stars, okay? Make this one trip we will never forget, all right? Yes! <laughs> the pyro from Team Fortress? Ah, there's the name of the, the game. Hey, I'm gonna be commenting on this like it's a, uh, a a horror movie and people are really dumb, but I'm gonna be the really dumb one. Okay. She doesn't get along with, like, anybody in particular. She's super brave, though. Not very funny. possible death so I guess there was a way to avoid dying there I I don't know but if I would have dropped the other girl would one of them have survived I guess that's that would that's what would happen but I don't think a sister would drop another sister that doesn't make any sense I have played a third person game before, thank you for that information. Time events, yep.
button. Sorry, still getting used to the controls. Aww. Hey, little fella. You hungry? Huh? <laughs> Kitty. <laughs> That's a good tutorial for that feature. I'm sure that will be used a bunch when things are going badly. A furnace? A stove? Or a plaque? I'm bad. <laughs> cool. Okay. All right. Okay. Death. That's pretty cool. I want to go to there. Aha! Look who it is. Really? That's a. <laughs> he knows it. Chris! Okay, so they're gonna do the same thing that Life is Strange did with the butterfly in the corner when something makes a difference in the game. You scared me. I, I'm sorry, are, are you my secretary? I was buzzing. Cool, well, thanks for letting me know. I, I can take it from here. Oh, so, I found something kinda amazing. What? I'm not gonna tell you. You gotta see for yourself. Come on, it's this way. Where? Right around here. I'm gonna blow your mind. I feel like I'm missing stuff. Mm. Nah, I'm gonna go explore a little bit. Like this. Oh man, look at this. Nice! You think we'll get a visit from America's Most Wanted? Someone thought so. Oh, come on. This place is abandoned most of the year. Nobody comes up here. Alright, so actually looking at things will increase the. 
probability that you might survive. Okay, well, let's check the door. Locked. God, the people upstairs are so loud. Ta-da! Pretty rad, right? Yeah! Come on, look at these beauties! Uh, beauties is not the word that comes to mind. Why is this even here? What do you mean? W what the hell is a shooting range doing at the base of a ski lodge? Uh, dude, have you ever met Josh's dad? Yeah. He thinks he's like Grizzly Adams or something. Wanna try? Uh, now you go ahead, Grizzly. <laughs> All right, here goes. All right, I'm bad. I'm a badass. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and guess it was a wild case of beginner's luck. Nah, I don't think so, girl. Well, anybody and their brother could shoot a bottle that big, that close. I'm not gonna shoot this squirrel. <laughs> nice shot. Your ass just got sacked. <sighs> hey, sharpshooter, a ride's coming. Wait, I'm just getting the hang of this. Come on, Chris, the cable car. Stats. All right. Friends will say he's like Josh's best friend, and he has a crush on Ashley. And he's charitable, funny, and curious. Okay. Wait, was there anything else over here that I missed? I heard a bomb. Which means I got a text message. One sec. Okay. Yeah, apparently the internet at my sister's house is uh, bad tonight, so they can't watch me play, even though the main reason I'm streaming is for them to be able to watch me, because they bought it for me. to keep it locked to keep people out he said that what people i i don't know he said they found people sleeping in the station one time it's creepy after you oh real gentleman Was closer. 
Guess we gotta wait. I'm starting to get the appeal of killing time at the shooting range. How long is this gonna take? It's a big mountain. Yeah. It's so beautiful in the day, but at night just feels menacing, like a sleeping giant. What a crazy place to set up house. No matter how rich you are. They're not so rich. Family bought a mountain. What was it showing before? It looked like a empty swimming pool or something. Can I move it to the right or left? No. Okay. Guess not. Okay. Anything else in here? Can I pick up survival supplies? Because, you know, horror movie. But no, I can't. Finally, you coming? Eh, yeah, well, I was going to stay here and catch some Z's, but okay. I'm just like going to the prom. So this adventure begins. This guy just owns a mountain, the right thing to do. and they have a ski what? lift or a, a, you know, a getting cable car. We together on the anniversary. I mean, Josh seemed really pumped about us all doing something, didn't he? Yeah, no, he definitely did. I haven't seen him so excited about something in forever. Good, good. It's hard to tell with him, and I, I don't know, I've kind of been worried. No, no, it was it was a good idea. I hope everyone else feels the same way. We're all here, aren't we? Thanks, bro. Good talk. <laughs> you know what? Let's just let's just stop talking about what happened and enjoy the trip. Ah, uh, yeah, you're right. You know how Josh and I met? No. Okay. Third grade. Josh sat in the back of the room. I sat in the front. We didn't even know each other existed. But the kid sitting next to Josh started strap snapping the training bra on the girl in front of him. So the teacher made him move to the front where I was sitting. Okay, so? So, I got moved to the back. And? And next to Josh. That's how we met. I mean, and became friends to this day. A match made in heaven. If it weren't for the fact that Jeannie Simmons hit puberty like three years early, <laughs> and on that day decided to wear a low-cut shirt that showed off a train bra, I mean, who knows? You could be riding in this cable car alone. Butterfly effect. Right now. Or, or talking to some other person entirely. Boom. Butterfly effect. Called it. Really wish I could use my webcam on the PlayStation, but you have to get the place. Oh, God. Creepy. What's up with her, like, smile? <sighs> okay. Boy, oh boy, oh boy. New people. Time to meet and greet. It's so creepy that you can move their head. Stroke? We're stuck in this stupid thing. Can you please let us out? Pretty please? Can I just hold this forever? And then they talk about it? Maybe. No. Okay. Oh my god. 
I thought we were goners. Another ten minutes in there, and I would have chewed off my own leg. Oh, shit, Chris. Look, got a lot of meat on my bones. This is all muscle down here. Yeah, right. Uh-huh. Hey, Chris. <laughs> I'm just doing like Sam taught me. Other people's private thoughts are my own personal playground. Do not be a jerk. My goodness. Seems that someone has a little crush on our good friend and dear class president, Michael Monroe. Chris. And what kind of sizzling erotica might our Jessica be capable of imagining? I wonder. Mike and M split were together. Whoa. Drama. Not really. Pretty clear cut, actually. M's out, I'm in. Huh. Did say she was honest. Alright, alright, let's just get up to the lodge already. It's getting tired of all this nature and junk. Uh, you guys go ahead. I'm just gonna wait here for a bit. See who else is coming. You mean Mike? What? <laughs> I mean, you know, whoever. Uh huh. Sam? <gasps> Did you see this view? I mean, holy cow. Sometimes I forget it to just stop and take it all in. Seriously, couldn't they have built the lodge, like, right where the cable car ends? I don't think it would have been, like, as pretty. No. And where's the bellboy when you need one? It's going to take me a long time to get these people's names right. <laughs> Walk very fast. Anything over here? Maybe no totems. Just telling of my death or anything like that. Okay, good. <sighs> Getting chills. We're almost there. No, I mean, getting kind of creeped out. Oh, yeah. It's gonna be weird seeing everyone up here again. Definitely not gonna feel like a regular party. I mean, what do you think? <laughs> Jesus! <laughs> You really, really should have seen your faces right there. Dude, I almost clocked you just now. <laughs> nice one. Michael, you're a jerk. Come on. Guys, we're all friends here, right? No need for violence, just a little harmless fun. We're up in the woods, it's spooky. Come on, let's get into the spirit of things. The spirit of things? Seriously, what's wrong with you? I'm just trying to lighten the mood, Em. Don't be like that. Like what? The way you're being. You always get like this. Uh... Michael, I'm just gonna lay it out, otherwise this whole weekend's gonna suck ass for everyone. Um, this is super awkward, and we all know it. Let's just uh, acknowledge it now and move on, okay? Matt. I hear you, man. I get it. I don't want to make this weird. Cool. So we're good? All good. You guys gonna make out now? <laughs> oh my god, totally. We're so gonna make out. <laughs> Uh, no, seriously, I'm gonna go check on the cable car back on the trip. All right. See you, man. See ya. All right, see ya. Ah, oh, crap. What? Hey, could you take these the rest of the way? The bags? Yeah, all the bags. Uh, why? I need to go find Sam. Okay. Sorry, I just, I really need to go find her. I totally forgot I needed to talk to her before we get all the way up there. This really can't wait. We're almost there. It's important, Matt, please. Em, I really don't think you should head back down the trail by yourself. Seriously? It's cold out and it's getting dark. You're gonna protect me from it being dark out? <laughs> I'll just leave your stuff here and come with you. Nobody's gonna steal it. 
Matt, are you kidding me? You can't leave me alone for five minutes? You really think that little of me? That's not what I meant. Why can't you just listen to me? Why do you have to question everything I say? I'm sorry, Em. I'm just trying to be helpful. If you want to be helpful, then you can help get everything up to the lodge as quickly as you can, okay? Um. Uh, okay. Fine. Whatever you want. Thank you. I'll see you up there after I go find Sam. See you in a bit. Can I see what these status updates are? It's just gonna poke me that there's a status update every once in a while. Oh. Which one's Chris? Oh, I'm terrible with these. Okay. Hello. Somebody's getting a little friendly. And not in the friend zone kind of way. They might need to check the expiration date on their big breakup. Oh! oh God. <laughs> hey, whoa. <sighs> Sorry there. Sorry about that, Ash. I didn't mean to scare you. Is this other jump scares the whole time? Scare you, sort of scare you, but not like for real oh scare you. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Hey, wow. Man, I'm, I'm really sorry, Ash, Dan. It's okay, it's fine, it's fine. What are you looking at? See anything juicy with that thing? Uh, it, Let me check it out. Uh, um, sure, uh, go, go ahead. Knock yourself out, I guess. Oh. Son of a bitch! Seriously, Emily? What the hell, man? Hey, listen, it's probably nothing. Nothing, you think? Well, yeah. Is it ever just nothing with him? Ever? I don't know. I... Ah, damn it. Matt. Not just do that. Put your hands where I can see them. We've got you surrounded. But who am I to retaliate? What choice do I, a supple young rebel girl, have but to surrender to the strapping military guard come to take me into custody? I, well, I don't know when you put it like that. Hey! <laughs> Oh, shit, shit, shit. Oh. Wrong button. Oh! Great. Hey, you know that? Where are you hiding, little chick? Oh! Ah. Hey! Oh, snap! Calling it my favor, then? Your worthy opponent, 
Miss Jessica, the Snowball Queen. Okay, that sounds vaguely dirty. My lady. Oh, okay. Okay, you're really gonna get it. What am I gonna get? Well, I can think of at least one thing. Yeah. But you'll have to wait until later. We should get up to the lodge. Yeah. It's so nice out here, though. Pretty breathtaking. I mean, I could stay out here for pretty much ever, provided I was making out with you the whole time. Just making out? Quote, unquote. Well, I think we might freeze to death somewhere in between those quotes. Yeah. Hello again. How are we feeling? It seems we hardly scratched the surface in our last session, so let's go a little bit deeper this time. This time, we're going to try to understand the root of your anxiety. Now pick up that book, turn the pages, you will see a set of pictures and symbols. I want you to identify which image in each set makes you the most anxious. Mm. I don't know. Men, I guess. Oh, uh, that? Oh. Uh, crowds. Uh, I really hate both of them, but drowning's worse. Why am I telling him all my fears? This is stupid. Why am I doing this? No, rats. No, I don't, I'm not scared of either of those. I like both of those. <sighs> Snakes. But I don't want to tell them that. Uh, snakes scare me. Eh, neither really scare me. Clowns, I guess. Uh, neither of these. Can I pick neither? Is that a thing? Uh, I guess crows are scary. I don't know. Oh. Did I startle you? So sorry. You're doing very well. Don't be nervous. Try to speed up a bit. The more you rely on your instincts, the more honest your answers will be, and the more enlightening you will find this experience. <laughs> uh, okay. What if I don't pick any on? I'm gonna go slow. I'm not speeding up. Are you mad at me? I hate spiders. Hmm. Uh, I'm not afraid. 
other dogs. Uh, I'm not afraid of storms. This is very interesting. Thank you for answering so diligent. <laughs> Spiders, zombies, and needles. Some combination sounds like a good Friday night. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, oh. Well, I'm afraid, once again, we're out of time, but I promise we'll talk again very soon. Like an, is that like an intermission type Don't thing? Don't you guys think this is a little bit... Oh, come on. She deserves it. Hannah! What's going on? Where's my sister going? It was just a prank, Han. No! Shut First off, I gotta say, I am super excited to welcome all my pals back the annual Blackwood Winter Getaway. I really want to spend some quality time with each and every one of you and um, just share some moments that we'll never forget for, for the sake of my sisters. I need to go find Sam. Son of a bitch. So I got moved to the back and next to Josh. That's how we met. Boom. Butterfly effect. I feel like this mountain gets bigger every time I climb it. Oh yeah? It feels the same to me. Come on, you grew up here. It probably feels like it's shrinking. I guess that's true. When are you gonna install some cell towers up here? I'm getting withdrawals already. You got a spare million lying around, and I'll fix you right up. Funny you should say that. I, oh, I think I left it in my other jacket. Oops. Hey guys, get up here okay? Yeah, <coughs> oh, more or less, but it is so good to see you. What's up with him? Yo, 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 you mean you got things moving up here or what? Yeah, man. So Matt and Emily are a thing now, right? Yeah, so it seems. I mean, what's Mike think of that? I have a feeling Mike's already got his hands full, you know what I mean? Huh. Damn it. It's a freaking thing. It's iced. What else? Maybe there's another way in. There are a million ways in. They're just all locked. There's gotta be, like, a window around the corner we can get, like, get open or something. Wait a second. Are you saying we should break in? <laughs> I don't think it's technically breaking in if you own the place, right? Hey. Not if I don't report you. Um, <laughs> lead the way, coaches. Coaches. Hey, Ash. Hi, Chris. So, how are you doing? Mm, good, but a little cold. I think I could use some time curled up by the fire. Yeah. That does sound pretty nice. Ah, uh, my romantic thing went up. But I'm not brave. Okay. It's really dark, and I can't see anything. I want to pick something up. Nothing up here. Nothing on the side. Down. Nope. Okay.
Ashley was looking pretty hot today, right? She's like a sleeper hit kind of gal, you know? Now I just want to rip that parka right off of her and make some snow angels, right? Uh, I don't know who that is. Fine. No. Absolutely. When are you going to take her to the bone zone? <laughs> like that could ever happen. Come on, man. She practically spends her entire life with you as it is. Well, yeah, but we're like friends. Listen, dude, look around you. Look at these beautiful mountains. Do you see any parents? I mean, can you imagine a more perfect, ripe scenario just dripping with erotic possibilities? You and Ashley alone at last. You've laid all the groundwork. You've been a perfect gentleman. Now, you come in for the kill. Maybe you're right. You're a hunter, bro. No fear, no mercy. I mean, she won't even know what hit her. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, I got it. Jeez. What status updates? Then? What stats did I get? How did my brave go down? What? Okay. So, how are we planning on breaking into my parents' lodge, bud? I didn't say I had a plan. You sounded like you had a plan. You better deliver, Koshi, or else you got four lovely ladies who are going to be freezing their buns off. And last time I checked, that's not a good way to get laid. Oh, shoot. Nobody likes cool buns. Well, 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 we got ourselves a thinker. Nice one. Maybe I should have got that. Oh, I'm okay. Should have paid more attention in climbing class. You mean Jim? Yeah, you know, with the climbing up the rope. Whoa. Did I do that? I, I don't think so. Here, use this. Whoa, Chris, I just got an awesome idea. Yeah? Totally. Well, what, what is it? Okay, so I'm pretty sure that I've got some deodorant in one of the bathrooms. You could use that with the lighter. I, I don't follow. How's, it, how's a stick of deodorant gonna help? Spray on, it's a can. Oh, yeah, now I gotcha. Flamethrower. Just like we did with the little army dudes. Yep, ones we melted. Just point the spray can in the lighter and whoosh. Bye bye, like frozen lock. Bad Bingo. Idea. All right, so you got this. I'm gonna go sort something out. You up for hunting around in the dark for a little bit? Nope, but I'll do it. Godspeed, Pilgrim. <laughs> All right, let's see. Clues. Clues. Here we go. Death. So, yeah, let's not, you know, use the flamethrower. As, as I thought.
have a main house. Is there a, like a storage closet or something in the back? Another door. Okay, so is that the flamethrower guy that we saw at the beginning? Maybe. Did I miss three clues? I'm terrible at this game if I did. Very funny. <laughs> oh, how'd you know it was me? Shouldn't you be like getting the lock open or something? On it. Okay. Maybe I have to hold it. Nope, this TV is just broken. Or the lights are out. What's this? What's on, what's on this table? Probably do all this searching later, but like with the lights on, maybe. But where's the fun in that?
I light the candle? Apparently not. Downstairs first. Just because I think they are pointing me towards the upstairs. I don't like being pointed.
the fuck? <laughs> ah. Freezing our buns off out here. It's such a bad idea. Don't do it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'll, I'll be here all week. <laughs> <sighs> Crap, that thing freaked me out. What was it? Are you okay? It was like a bear or tiger or something. Oh, it was just a cute little baby Wolverine. Baby? Don't worry, buddy. You're gonna be a big boy soon. Home sweet home. Sweet is not the word I use. Oh my gosh, it's so good to be inside. Even if it's still kind of freezing in here. I'll get a fire to go. This place barely looks any different. And yeah, nobody's been up here. Even with all the police coming in and out? Not a lot of action up here lately. Nope. What's up, party people? Hi. Hey. Make yourself at home, bro. We'll do. Yeah. Come on in. Take a load off. Have whatever you want. You just take whatever you want anyway, right? Whoa. It's easy there, cowboy. What the hell were you doing with M out on the trail? What? I saw you and M. With the telescope. Before? We just ran into each other. It's been a while, so we hugged and I said hello. Is that against the law? Um, right. Right, I'm sure it's all it was. You know what? You can think whatever you want. It's a free country. Watch yourself, Mike. So gross. <laughs> Are you trying to swallow his face whole? Yeah. I mean, seriously, can she be any more obvious? No one wants in on your territory, honey. Excuse me? Did you say something? Oh, did you not hear me? Was your sluttiness too loud? Sounds like someone's bitter she didn't make the cut. Yeah, it's all a big cattle call with that dream boat. Congrats, you're top cow. Cuts real deep calling Miss Homecoming a cow. You're making everyone uncomfortable, Jess. Jealous much? Emily too frigid for you too. Hey, that's that's unco look whatever. I don't give a crap what you think. At least I can think. 4.0 bitch, on a roll. Suck on that when you're trying to sleep your way into a job. Who needs grades when you've got all the natural advantages oh you can God. handle? Oh, please. You couldn't buy a moldy loaf of bread with your skanky ass. Are you serious? Do you think that's insulting? That bitch is on crack or something. Emily, stop. This is out of hand. And there's no reason to fight like this. Yeah, Em. Why are you picking fights over your ex-boyfriend, huh? Stop it! This is not why we came up here. This is not helping. It's not what I wanted. If we can't get along for ten minutes, then maybe we need a little bit of a break, right? Mike, why don't you check out the guest cabin, the one I told you about? Yeah. Yeah, all right. Want to go do that? Any place without that whore. Hey, it's right up the trail. <sighs> Glad that's over. Yeah. So, Josh, uh, should we get this fire going? Where's my bag? Huh? My bag, the the little bag with the pink pattern, the one I got on Rodeo. Matt, are you are you listening? Oh my god, don't you remember? Next to the Italian shoe place where I got the stilettos oh and god. you knocked over the rack shoe while you were shopping. drooling all over that girl at the counter? Well, I mean, she was asking about my letter jacket. Right, because she gave a shit about your designer letter jacket. Why do you hate my jacket? Matt, I need my bag. Oh my god, Em, you, maybe you just forgot it. Do you seriously think I'd forget my bag? Well, do I... Do you? 
just not. You must have left it down by the cable car station. <sighs> Come on, hon. We'll be back soon. And then we can get warm? We can get very warm. Okay. Okay, let's go. Okay, I'm gonna go take a bath. <laughs> Works for me. Oh, bar. How far is this cabin anyway? This cabin is the coziest, most romantic love den you will ever lay your eyes upon. <laughs> if we ever make it. I have a feeling luck's on our side. No. Play your cards right and maybe you will get lucky. Hey, porn stars. You're gonna need these. Porn star? I'd pay to see it. Uh, gross. Hey, I'm sorry to kick you out like that. Don't worry, man. Oh, I'm sure you'll find a way to entertain yourselves. Mm-hmm. You have fun with the peanut gallery. <sighs> oh, I almost forgot. Got to fire up the generator so you can see where you're going. It's dark out there. All right. Roger that. I think Josh was flirting with me. OK. You want to invite him up with us? Wait, really? What? No. Okay. Uh, that's it for now. I'm going to. Oh, hey. Can I see like everybody? Okay. That's it for tonight. Uh, I'll probably continue tomorrow evening. Hopefully my sisters will actually get a chance to watch. Uh, thanks for tuning in and uh, continue tomorrow.